Bangladesh is one of the world's most densely populated countries, with a population of 156.6 million. 36% of its inhabitants live in abject poverty. Bangladesh itself forms part of the historical and cultural region of Bengal, where its people are mostly crammed into a delta of rivers that empties into the Bay of Bengal. Bangladesh is a world away from our Western way of life. It suffers from many problems such as poor infrastructure, insufficient power supplies and political instability. The country spent 15 years under military rule and although democracy was restored in 1990, government corruption still remains. You can see here we have bought much needed food and water to give to some of the most destitute. As you can see from these images, rising unemployment and food prices and a sluggish economy are certainly taking their toll on Bangladesh. About 40% of Bangladesh's population live on less than one pound a day. People are struggling to provide food for themselves and families every day because of the lack of job opportunities. This poor lady is begging for money to be able to buy food for her family. It's difficult for a woman to be able to provide for family due to no jobs. She shows appreciation by doing a prayer to show how thankful she is after being given food. Begging is a common consequence of Bangladesh's deep-rooted problems. You can see this lady begging for money just to be able to buy food for her family. The overwhelming majority of women in Bangladesh are not only poor, but also caught between two vastly different worlds. The world determined by culture and tradition that confines their activities inside family homesteads, where they are regarded more as a commodity necessary only for bearing and rearing children, and a world shaped by increasing landlessness and poverty. She shows her appreciation by blessing us to show her gratitude. It is estimated that 16 million people in Bangladesh are living with a disability, receiving little or no assistance and excluded from mainstream life. As you can see, this person has no legs and used two pieces of foraged wood to move around, along with a bag to carry their possessions. As you can see, an elderly woman begging on the busy streets for food. She's been here for most of the day and said very little to us. It's a regularly repeated scene throughout Bangladesh. We offered her some food and said our goodbyes. This man was sitting at the bottom of the bridge begging for money. With one leg, he uses scavenged crutches to get around. He was happy to explain his disability to us. He said, when I was a child, I broke my leg. I have spent a lot of money for treatment from begging, but the doctor was unable to save my leg. It's very difficult. I have to provide for my family. I have no other financial support from anywhere. Everyone neglects me, but what can I do? Here are two friends. One is partially blind and the other has a disability. They both help each other to survive. It's common to see the poor with disabilities, partly due to non-existent health care, but also due to a lack of nutrition and food. Poverty can create disability, and the same way disability can create poverty. They are helpless, and begging is the only way to survive. Sitting with a small red bowl, this man looked exhausted. It's sadly a common sight in Bangladesh. Due to his disability, he needed help with the food we gave him. Disability and poverty cause and reinforce each other. In recent years, 
devastating cyclones and floods, the dramatic increase in food prices in 2008 and the global recession have all impacted economic growth in Bangladesh, which in turn has led to a deterioration of food levels and the nutritional situation in the country. He is so happy to have something to eat, he thanks God. This lady was seen sitting on the floor in the side of the pavement. We encounter a young disabled boy who appears no more than five. Unable to walk, we ask him a few questions, but quickly realize he is unable to speak. This poor disabled lady was sitting on top of the stairway just waiting for any handouts, simply so she can buy food for her family. A man with half his body disabled, unable to work, he depends on handouts to survive. Situated in the capital, Dakar, Taiga on the railway is full of impoverished people from all over Bangladesh, living by its dangerous tracks. Poverty is deep and widespread in Bangladesh. It is one of the world's most densely populated countries where malnutrition is rife. The World Bank estimates that Bangladesh is ranked first in the world of the number of children suffering from malnutrition. An overall 26% of the population are severely undernourished. Despite recent overseas investment in its economy, Bangladesh remains a poor, overpopulated and an inefficiently governed nation. The major employer is agriculture, with about 45% of Bangladeshis being employed in this sector. However, it is unable to meet the demand for jobs. So many Bangladeshis, in common with citizens from other countries in the region, seek work abroad, sometimes illegally. <laughs> 